Welcome to my channel. For my next requested reaction, I have an interview with Amira Villighagen. And I want to read the note that the requester wrote. How and why Amira began singing Training and Her Charity. It's only about five minutes long, so uh, it'll be interesting to see. I like learning more about some of these really special singers like Amira and Angelina and Dimash. I like learning more about their lives and, and their desires and their, their passions and that sort of thing. So I'm really looking forward to this. Before we get into that, I want to thank you for the requests that you make. I appreciate every single one of them. Some of them are pretty off the wall. Uh, a lot of them are really wonderful. So at this point, I think I've done, uh, I know that I've done 100 reactions to Angelina. I've done almost 160 for Dimash. And I'm pretty sure I've done over 100 for Mira, maybe more. And there's a reason for that. It's because they're wonderful singers. They stand head and shoulders above the crowd. And so you request them a lot. And I enjoy them every time I get to see them. So that's why I thank you for the request that you make. Because you fill my life with music and with beautiful, wonderful music. So this is an interview with Amira. Before we get into that, I do want to remind you that I always put the artist links in the description of my videos so that you can support them. And I also want to remind you that I put the link to the request form so that you can request reactions if you want. I don't take requests from the comments. So make sure you fill out the request form. So this is Amira Villighagen in an interview about her career and her charity. <laughs> gifts from God. I was a little girl and I was always watching the show Holland's Descendant and my dream was actually to just be on TV my family is very musical and um, my dad plays the organ and piano and my mother plays the violin and the flute and my brother plays the violin as well but I didn't really play a, an instrument so I felt like the old one out and I wasn't really um, in the mood to like learn a whole new musical instrument and I started singing because I've always loved um, listening to classical songs and opera songs which is a bit odd for like a small girl um, but our family was raised very classical and I've just been attracted to that. The one day if you stand up out of your bed it's just like a normal day going to school and everything but then the next day all these other things like cameras and fame and big dresses, performances and the whole showbiz world was involved. It's really like a different world out there, the showbiz industry and it was at the beginning very hard to get used to because we like went to these fancy hotels. It has really taken me and my family to a lot of places. It's like a big world tour um, in my head. We went to Las Vegas for the burgers and the big lights and went to Hong Kong and to New York and to Rome, Paris and just like a lot of places and it was really a very nice experience to be able to go to places and see things um, and traveling with my family um, and yes it's been a wonderful journey the idea of beginning beginning a goodwill organization already started when i was um, seven years old because my mother is born in south africa and we went to visit South Africa a lot 
and then I saw the big difference of how the townships look here. I was like, what is this? And that my mom said that's where uh, some people have to live. It was just so shocking for me coming from the Netherlands. I'm a kid and I know how nice it is to run with your friends into a playground. And then I decided like next time I come here, I want there to be something to play with for all the kids. It would be so cool to like make playgrounds in South Africa. And my fans actually helped me to begin my own foundation, Gelukskinders. Without the support from the fans, it wouldn't have been possible at all. All their donations and all the things they buy from the web shop, it's just amazing. It's like when you have a dream in your heart and it is God's intent for you to fulfill it. So now it just makes me so happy to think about the children that are able to escape from their abusive families and their nasty surroundings and poverty um, to go and play in playgrounds. The idea of children not being able to play is just heartbreaking. My foundation also has given in this lockdown time, there were a lot of families who had a really rough time because they like lost their jobs or weren't able to work. And so we also funded a lot of money that the fans also donated for my birthday. I funded that to give food packets to families. I see it as the talent I've received is like a gift from God. And the way I can give it back to him is to use it the right way. So that's what I've been trying to do since 2030. I want to thank you all my fans for all support and donations for my foundation. The key to great skin is exfoliating. Okay. Oh. Oh, do you know? Do you have any idea how much it blesses me to hear her speak about how she understands that she has a gift from God? And she also understands that it's her uh, privilege to share the abundance that she receives with others. She's such a wonderful inspiration. She is such a, a wonderful person and such a powerful example to others. Of course, I knew all this before, but <clears throat> seeing it in this interview was, it just made it really special. This is on Ray Vandenberg's channel. So, uh, Ray is a big Amira fan, and you could do a lot worse than to subscribe to his channel and support him for what he's doing. Thank you, Ray. You know, I've been thinking a lot lately about God's grace and how to how to help you understand what that means. Because there are so many religions in the world and so many denominations in the Christian religion that despite all their flowery language, still teach you that you have to be a good person to be born again. And I can tell you that isn't possible. I don't care how good you think you are. Believe me, you're not good enough. You're not good enough to qualify as a child of God. You're just not. That's the reason why Jesus Christ had to die for you. Because he had to take your death sentence on himself in order for you to live. And the grace of God is that he says, 
you know what? Despite all of your sin and all your imperfection, I'm going to make you my child anyway because you believed in me. And once you get born again, the grace of God is that you cannot get unborn again. You cannot, you know, some, some denominations want to teach you that if you don't continue to be good, if you don't behave in a good way, that you're not going to go to heaven. And that is such a lie. That is an absolute outrageous lie. When you're born again, you're going to heaven. All hell can't stop you. And the reason why is because of God's grace, not because of anything you did, will do, or ever have done. Jesus Christ died on the cross so that you could be forgiven for your past, for your present, and your future. That's grace. That's what grace is. And the Bible says, By grace we are saved, not of works, lest any man boast. And that is exactly what men would do if they could get saved on their own good deeds. They would boast about it. But it, it doesn't work that way. So my prayer to you today is that you will understand that God's grace is sufficient for you. It's all you need. And you cannot do anything to earn it. All you can do is say thank you. And accept it as a gift. Because that's what it is. And that's my prayer for every person that you love as well. This is the Vietnam Era Vet. Out.